In this block of instruction, we will discuss an overview of the ATAC Civ application. The Civilian Team Awareness Kit for Android, ATAC Civ, is a government off the shelf software application and mapping framework for mobile devices. The ATAC Civilian Software application is an extensible moving map display that integrates imagery, map, and overlay information to provide an enhanced collaboration and situational awareness. ATAC Civilian promotes information flow and communications from the field environment to command enterprise locations beginning with the persistent buttons on the far right of the device. The persistent back button. The persistent back button is used as a back button to return to the previous screen or center on the user's location. The persistent home button. This is used to view the device's home screen. The additional applications button. This is used to display all currently open applications on the device. Located in the middle of the map screen, you will see the self marker. The self marker is displayed as a blue arrowhead at the user's current location based on GPS data. Tapping on the self marker would, will display a radial menu. The radial menu is a menu for each tool that allows the user to further modify each item on the user's map. The options available on the self marker radial menu are compass rows, polar coordinate entry, fine adjust, GPS error halo, range and bearing line. Reds and MSDs, lock on self, tracking breadcrumbs, place marker, which places a marker at the current user's location, and detail sheet. The buddy marker. The buddy marker is indicated as a colored dot, which represents other users' position location information on the map screen. On the bottom right of the map screen, you will see the position location information box or PLI box. This allows the user to see information pertaining to themselves, such as MGRS, altitude, speed, bearing, and GPS accuracy. The PLI box can also be used by tapping on the center of the PLI box, which will center on the map screen to the user's current location. This information can be edited in the user's preference and will be covered in the settings block of instruction. Looking at the bottom of the left of the map screen, you will see the scale. The scale is used to display a distance scale for the user to reference based on the current zoom level. On the top left beneath the toolbar, you'll see the North Seeking Arrow. By long pressing on the North Seeking Arrow tool, this allows the user to adjust from a locked north map to an orient on bearing as well as 3D map view with the details loaded. Above the North Seeking Arrow is the toolbar. The toolbar contains an active display of tools for quick reference. This can be edited and will be covered in the toolbar manager block of instruction. Orientation. This tool allows the user to adjust the landscape or portrait modes on the user's map. It is recommended to keep it on landscape as the map screen displays a larger field of view as well as more tools are visible on the toolbar. Lock on self. Lock on self tool allows the user to lock on the self marker as GPS is updated, as well as bring the map back to center on the self marker. Range and bearing. This tool allows the user to access range and bearing functionality, which provides four additional measuring tools on the user's toolbar. Dynamic range and bearing line, range and bearing line, range and bearing circle tool, and bullseye tool. The dynamic range and bearing line can be repositioned by the user. The range and bearing line allows the user to calculate the distance between two locations on a map, calculate the distance between an object on the map and another point on the map, or calculate the distance between a point on the map and the self marker. The range and bearing circle tool allows the user to mark one or more range rings around a point. The bullseye tool is an additional range and bearing option that gives more information than the standard range and bearing line or range and bearing circle. The bullseye tool provides a circular grid with lines every 30 degrees. Drawing tools. Drawing tools allows the user to access four additional tools to create different shapes and or telestrate on the map. Circle, rectangle, freeform polygon, and telestrate. The circle allows the user to place a circle on the map to a desired radius. The rectangle allows the user to place a rectangle on the map to a desired area. Freeform polygon allows the user to draw a freeform shape to a desired area. And telestrate 
allows the user to freehand draw on the map screen. Routes. This tool be, can be used to quickly create, view, or modify routes. Users can also use Google created route data and place that on the map for navigation. Wide Area Search Plugin or WASP. This allows the user to create information on structures based on the search criteria. As you can see, these are various WASP markers placed on the map. Point Dropper. This tool allows the user to place internationally standardized markers and other icons on the map, edit the data, and share the markers with other network members. As you can see, this is an example of a red object placed on the map. Contacts tool. Contacts tool allows the user to access a list that includes a variety of ways in which a user may communicate with other users on the network, such as GeoChat, XMPP, SMS, and VoIP. Overlay Manager. Overlay Manager tool allows the user to sort map objects, files, and overlays into categories and subcategories, as well as delete items from the device. Maps and Favorites. This tool allows the user to select a desired map to display, save maps for offline use, and add favorite locations for quick reference. Additional Items menu. This is denoted by the three dots in the far right of the toolbar, which accesses additional tools within the ATAC Civ application. This can be edited and will be covered in the Toolbar Manager block of instruction. Emergency. This allows the user to indicate the need for assistance, the type of emergency, and their location by placing a flashing beacon on the map. Weather report. This allows the user to view current weather information. Quick pick. This allows the user to access the Android device's camera in order to attach pictures to markers on the map. Import Manager. This allows the user to import supported files into the TAC application from an SD card or the network. Brightness. This allows the user to adjust the screen brightness. Gallery. This allows the user to access photos captured using the ATAC application. Track History. The device's GPS can be used to track movements with the Track History tool. These track paths can be exported to a TAC server or other file formats. Geofence. This tool allows the user to create a virtual fence that triggers entry and exit notifications if map items of interest cause virtual boundary lines. Data package. This allows the user to display any data packages that have been stored. New data packages may be built and sent to other network members. Data sync. This allows the user to sync data that is accessed on the TAC server. XCheck is a checklist to the data sync mission. TAC chat. This tool allows the user to communicate to users on the TAC server. Clear content allows the user to remove all ATAC civilian content from the Android device. Note, this action will permanently erase all content. Toolbar manager. This allows the user to hide tool icons, customize the icons displayed on the toolbar, and customize the appearance of tools listed in the additional items menu dropdown. Settings. This allows the user to access an additional menu to further enhance the ATAC Civ application to the user's preference. Quit. This is used to quit the ATAC Civ application. All tools discussed in this video will be covered in detail on additional videos and will be available for users to view on the Watchtower Exchange website. This concludes this block of instruction.